Okay, so in previous parts I was looking at these uh, examples. Uh, well, let me just look at this example here and erase those two points. So what I was saying about those two points, or any points that I put on the uh, on the shape, let's say that's a closed shape, so just make some sense here. Okay, let's say that's the shape. So depending on which points I choose to uh, sample my uh, shape with, uh, the quality of the model that I have or the quality of the uh, analysis that I have of the matching between things uh, is going to be affected. Uh, let's say I chose points, you know, points like these on the outside. Now, this is going to be more useful than just having lots of points grouped here which doesn't actually uh, sample represent anything on the other side so that's not going to be a good way of representing the shape if I just took this part here okay this is also analogous to what's being done with PCA uh, the subject of uh, well, you know my PhD uh, was actually focused on the use of PCA in new ways um, in that case we found automatic methods of trying to identify points of interest